there, my name is Nicole. I am your consultant for this online Facebook extra cooking class. And I'm going to show you a demonstration that we're going to be doing for the cooking class. Tonight we're going to be doing Good Mexican Real Fast. So with the Good Mexican Real Fast, we make chicken fajitas, salsa, and guacamole. First of all, we're going to start with the chicken fajitas. So we've got our ceramic slicer here. And I just sliced up some chicken previous to this so you guys didn't have to wait for that. And then we're going to put that in our square steamer here. Our ceramic slicer has a ceramic blade, which is a never dull blade. I've never had mine dull before. And it's super easy to clean. It goes in the dishwasher, which makes things really easy. So we've got our pepper here and we're just going to slide it along. It seamlessly cuts through all vegetables. I use this quite frequently for um, chicken and tuna salad if I want to put celery in them or carrots even because then it maintains the um, chicken and salad because then everything stays together. Just a couple more slices here. And then we're going to grab our fajita seasoning. That looks good. Put that down. This is our fajita seasoning. So this comes in the Good Mexican Real Fast demo, or bundle I mean. And this is our four in one spice spoon. So you've got a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and then if you turn it over, you've got half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. The wonderful thing about this, this spoon is that it fits in all of our jars. So we're gonna take a table tablespoon of our fajita seasoning, just shake it off in the jar there, and then just sprinkle it over top. This is our um, dip and spreader. I really like this one for stirring things, especially sauces or even our salsa and guacamole, which we're going to be doing next. So now that we've got this all stirred around, our peppers are in there and our fajita seasoning is all stirred up. I'm going to put this to the side. We're going to put the lid on our square steamer and put it in the microwave for five minutes. Five minutes is the average time that it generally takes chicken to cook in there. Of course, it varies by your own microwave. Some are more powerful than others, of course. So we actually do have two other size steamers. We've got a rectangle one, which is about half the size of that one. And then we've got our big one, which is our multi-purpose steamer. That one's about double the size of the square one. So you've got all kinds of sizes for different sizes of families or if it's just you at lunch um, in the office or if you're cooking for your family at the night in the, for dinner time. Um, we're going to get started on our salsa next. Um, so with this I'm going to be using our ceramic knife. This is our 5 inch ceramic knife. Um, I really like this for cutting tomatoes. Of, um, by far, I think it's the best knife for cutting tomatoes. It flies right through them with no issue. I prefer a chunkier salsa, so I generally just use cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, and then I cut them in half, and maybe about half or twice again, so about quarters. See how the knife just glides right through. It also comes with um, a cover, so you don't have to worry about poking yourself when you're reaching in the drawer. So our salsa is our polka picante salsa mix. This one has a little bit of a heat to it, especially if you use the full amount on the jar. Um, but I generally prefer to use a little bit less because I find it quite spicy. So we'll do about just shy of a tablespoon. Sprinkle that in there. The nice thing about all of our spices and seasonings is that you can tailor them to your taste. If you don't like things as spicy or as um, robust in flavor as other things, you can just dial back the seasoning. Or if you do want it to be a little bit spicier, then you just put it a little bit more in. So we're just going to give it a stir here. Filled it too full. But just like that, that is our salsa. Of course you can add other things. 
I really like to add corn and black beans to the tomatoes and you, you can put it in a wrap and you've got a little chicken and you've got an entire meal right there. So we're just gonna set that aside. Let those flavors combine there. We're gonna move on to our guacamole now. So I just cut up half the avocado in there. I'm gonna use a ceramic knife just to score inside the avocado. And that makes it really easy to get it out. So just essentially cut it into cubes in there. And then you just squeeze it and it all comes out. It's the best trick that I learned. Okay, so we've got our avocado in there. I'm just gonna use the same dipping spreader. Mash it up a bit here. This is my daughter's favorite part of the demo. She's normally the avocado masher, and this tool makes it so easy. Now that we've got that mashed a little bit, I'm going to grab some of our guacamole mix. Our guacamole mix is actually quite versatile. I really like this in eggs, scrambled eggs. So since we're only making about half the recipe, we're just going to do a little bit over a tablespoon. When you make the full recipe, it calls for three tablespoons and two avocados. I'll go grab my lime. So now I've got my lime here. We're just going to give our guacamole a little squeeze. This is our two-in-one citrus press. So this guy has a green part for limes, and then you've got the bigger part for lemons. You put it in cut side down. I find that quite a few limes are actually too big for the lime area, so I end up putting them in the lemon part. But you put it cut side down, and just like that, just a little squeeze. It's so easy, especially just to get all of the juice out of there. Stir this up a little bit more. I prefer to have, there again, um, a chunkier guacamole. Some people like it to be a complete puree. So with those ones, I would say put a little bit more time into mashing it, but I like to have a little bit of texture to it. All right, so that's that. And we're just waiting for our chicken. And our chicken is done now. Here it is, hot out of the microwave. Just gonna use our saute spoon just to break it up a little and ensure that it's cooked. Wow, this smells so good. This is one of my favorite demos. My family really likes this one. So if you could see in there, there's actually quite a bit of liquid that's in there. With these steamers, you don't need to add any oil, no water, no nothing. It's just the seasoning and the vegetables or the meat that you're cooking. Because you'd be surprised that a lot of our vegetables and our meat actually have a lot of moisture in them. With cooking things in the steamer, you're retaining a lot more of the nutrients than if you're cooking them boiling them or whatnot because then when you especially if you boil vegetables you're pouring pouring all the nutrients down the drain when you drain them so it's definitely cooked there we're just going to grab a tortilla shell here put a little of our chicken inside and some peppers with it too Give our guacamole a little extra stir here. I'm gonna flip it over and I can scoop it in. There's our guacamole mixed in there. Give our salsa a little extra stir. Our salsa. And there you have it. Dinner's ready. Thanks so much for watching.